hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel i'm nakristos and in today's video i'll be showing you how i retouch my images the step-by-step -step process on how i edit my pictures for flyer designs for poster designs and for anything i want to do using lightroom mobile and if you are new to this channel kindly hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon so that anytime i release a new video you'll be one of the first people to be notified and also like this video so that the YouTube algorithm will push it to other people on YouTube platform. Okay, without further ado, let's get into the video. So, today's video is about how I retouch my images from this to this which is a lot more better than the previous one <laughs> all right so um i'll bring in the image we'll be using today which is this one and this image is already retouched then i'll take it back to the previous way it was so i'll just go back to history and um I'll take it back to reset to all and yeah this was how the picture came in this was how I downloaded the picture okay so um the first thing I want to do or the first thing I usually do is to go back to texture or to go back to um this edit button here which is about details okay so um as you can see the picture has details but the the details are not much on the picture so the first thing I want to do is to increase the clarity. Okay, so um, the clarity brings out much more detail from the picture, even though it darkens some other part of the picture, which is not an issue. Okay, so um, when I've increased the clarity, you can see some parts are very dark. So we'll go back to this light part. This um, section is about lights. Everything about lights, you can edit it here. So since the um image has gotten darker or some part of the image the shadows of the image are darker i'm going to increase my shadows here to bring in back those lights um part of the picture and you can see some parts of the picture like our forehead are now too bright so i'm going to attack the highlights which affects the brightest parts or the brightest pixels of an image this is highlight so if i bring it down you can see i've gotten back some details here so i'll bring down my shadows a bit so you have before and the after which we've um, kind of brought it back and I'm going to reduce my whites just a bit the whites affect the white part of the image you can decide to leave yours like that um, the image I used will be linked in the description below so you can do well to download it and follow along okay so um, I'm going to reduce my whites and I'm going to increase my blacks just a bit to have before and after all right i'm going to increase my contrast a bit and we have much more detail in the picture talking about the details i'm going to go back to sharpening and i'm going to increase my sharpening and you can see the before and the after now you don't want to increase the sharpening too much you can leave it around 100 and increase your noise reduction just a bit so you have before and after all right so i want to reduce color noise reduction you may not see it but it smoothens out the colors a bit all right so if you are a graphic designer who is looking for a website to become a freelancer on outledge is an online learning platform for everyone who wants to become a successful freelancer start working from home or create an additional source of income with a side hustle Outledge now has a Discord community with more than 100 plus remote jobs which are posted daily. So if you're a graphic designer, a web designer, or you are doing anything remote job, try Outledge with my promo code in the description below. You can be able to sign up on Outledge and you can get a discount with my promo code. Alright, back to the video. Okay, I'll go over to my color section and I'll increase my vibrance now if you want to know more about all these i'm talking about in the video vibrance saturation 
highlight shadows, I have a course, a detailed course on Lightroom Mobile, which will be linked in the description below. It's called Lightroom for Designers course. Now, if you're a designer who uses Pixel Lab to design a lot, you know that you cannot use just Pixel Lab to achieve those results that you see PC designers use. Now, I've created a course which will be easy for you to understand. It's a self-paced course where you can learn everything you need to know about Adobe Lightroom Mobile and use for your designs. So the course will be linked in the description below. Yeah, and you can purchase it at a very affordable price today. Okay, so um, later in future it will increase in price. So you, you get it now that it's cheap so that you can edit the way I edit on Lightroom, which is very easy. I have many students who have done this and they have many results. Okay, back to the video. I will increase my vibrance and um, when I go back to, if I go to, um, okay. Now, if you want to have greater results in this stuff, you can do apply this effect I applied, especially in the details aspects. Again, when you save the picture, you can apply it again and you have double the effect on your picture and it gives your picture much more um, detail. Now, if I increase my my texture, this texture, what this texture does is to bring all those textures that were lost in the picture to bring them back. If I take it down, you see the picture is not um, nice. But if I bring it up, you see the picture has very much more detail. Now, texture is to add a bit more some colors. So I'll reduce my green. There is a bit of green on her hair. I'll reduce my blues. I'll reduce my cyan. I reduce um, my purple. I think I'll leave magenta because it's magenta in a color in a um, clothes. I'll still leave my yellow with the way it is. Um, saturation of the orange will be left the way it is. I may take the hue back a bit just to give it that reddish tone. And the reds will be increased just a little bit. So um, you can see the before and the after. You can see how much more life. Sorry, I'll just take this back, increase it a bit. You can see how the picture has much more life in it. You can see the before and the after. And that's just everything you need to know about retouching picture. Now the course will be linked below and you need to do well to watch it and learn everything you need to know about Lightroom so that you can become a pro in Lightroom. Okay, um, thanks for sticking to the end and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.